In step three of exercise number two, the following actions have to be implemented to define the rough machining of the center pocket. Add a new iMachining operation. In the SolidCam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose 2D iMachining from the Add Milling Operations submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed. Use the default iRough for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the center pocket. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, pick on the lower contour of the pocket as shown. Select Auto Constant Z in the Chain section of the Geometry Edit dialog box to close the chain. Click the Yes button to accept the selection. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Part Tool table. Currently, there is one tool available for use to machine this cam part. Define a new, smaller tool by clicking the Add Milling Tool button. Select End Mill from the Milling Tools list. Under the Topology tab, set the diameter value to 9.5 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, which provide a cutting length of 24 mm. Change the number of flutes to 5. Change the outside holder length value to 40 mm and add a tool holder. Switch to the Holder tab and select the HSK A63 from the local list. Click the Select button to choose the tool and tool holder for the operation. Switch to the Levels page of the iMachining Operation dialog box to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. When the Pick Upper Level dialog box is displayed, select the top face of the target model in the SolidWorks graphics area as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the lower face of the center pocket as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, switch to the Technology Wizard page. By default, the wizard will use Automatic to calculate the depths. The wizard will step down the full depth, 12.7 millimeters. The machining level aggressiveness is set to 6 by default. On the technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. On the link page, the default ramping angle value of 5.3 is used for the operation. This means that the helical entry into the pocket will be performed at a ramping angle of 5.3 degrees. Name the operation iRough Center Pocket. Click the Save and Calculate button to add this iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. The tool performs the helical entry and then the pocket roughing toolpath. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step 3 is complete and the rough machining of the center pocket is defined. Click the exit button to close the iMachining operation dialog box. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the rough machining of the center pocket.